All right, the doctor is in. It is time for Katie's Science Lab. David Sears off for a couple days, well-deserved days off. So Katie's flying solo this morning. That's right, and Katie, you have, I understand, cabbage in this experiment? Yes, this involves cabbage, but without my assistant, I forgot my lab coat. Just not, not, Aww, just don't have it going good. today. I'll you just, got the I'll, gloves. Totally thrown off. Yeah, I'm gonna, I always wind up taking these gloves off. They're too big. Uh, but yes, our experiment today involves cabbage and some other vegetables. Uh, this is a kind of low key experiment. Again, today we're not blowing anything up, but this is a good experiment to teach kiddos um, about how plants, vegetables live and thrive. And it will also teach them a little lesson in patience. So here's what you are going to need. You're gonna need some vegetables. I got cabbage lettuce and celery. You can do a combination or just one or two. Next time you're at the store, pick one of those up. Clear jars or containers. I've got mason jars today, some water and some food coloring. That is what you need. So not a whole lot. So what we're going to do, you're going to take your, you're going to put water in your mason jars. You're going to put some food coloring in it. And then you're going to put the leaves of the cabbage or the lettuce in the water. And then this is what happens. Ooh. I love to be dramatic here. Da, 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 da. Um, so I'm going to take all my different colors out here and we're going to see what happened. I put these, the cabbage, the lettuce, the celery in this water on Monday. And I have seen a little bit of a change in the celery, not as much. So we're going to start off with the cabbage and the lettuce. I've got my cabbage in purple here and some of the color started to go up all the stems of the cabbage. And if you leave this in here for several days, like maybe even five days, you would see a much more dramatic change. So I maybe should have started it over the weekend. My nice. bad, user error. But oh, you're good. <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's a good way for the kiddos to learn how long does it take for this change to happen. There, you can kind of see it there. So how, what does this happen? How can you teach the kiddos, you know, kind of what's going on here? So these vegetables are vascular. Is that a word? Okay, see the lettuce looks good. Oh, oh yeah. The lettuce yeah. looks a lot better. And so if you let it sit for a few more days, that color would continue to move up the stems in the lettuce. So these vegetables are vascular plants here. This looks really good. You can and see the blue there. Nice. Uh, so these vegetables are vascular plants, which means they've basically just got a bunch of tubes running all across the plant through the leaves and everything. And those tubes are made of a tissue called xylem. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, X-Y-L-E-M. And this is a tissue that allows water to move from the roots of this plant all the way up through the leaves so that it can continue to grow and stay healthy. And that's how all of our plants, even our trees, uh, continue to grow and thrive. So set this up and leave it for a few days. Leave it for more than two days and see if you can get this, this blue color to travel all the way up through the leaves, through the xylem tissue in these plants. It's a cool kind of visual thing that you can teach the kiddos how plants get water and live. Did the red make it up the stalks of the celery? That's what I was going to. So I brought, um, I brought a butter knife. Don't get too excited. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was gonna, so you can kind of see, yeah, here in the uh -huh. celery, yeah. I was thinking since celery is made of so much water anyway, I didn't know how well it would work, but it does look like a little bit yeah, got in we'll there. See. Yeah, not so now. Not, no, 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 I can kind of see it at the bottom there. Okay. So that's kind of, and ask the kiddos which, you know, what kind of vegetable do they think will be the most colorful. So, so this was, this was fun. That's very good. My cool. cat will stop eating the lettuce now on the, uh -oh. <laughs> on the countertop. So yeah, try it at home. Um, if you guys do any of our science lab experiments, be sure to send me pictures or video. Uh, we'd love to share what you guys are doing at home with the kiddos. All of the science lab activities are on ksat.com. Just search the ksat kids section. Cool, all right. Yes, and I like that it's a lesson in patience as well. Yes, you gotta wait. Very good. Thank you, Katie Blake. Uh -huh.